mentioned COVID and stuff. And obviously, you know, earlier in the year, early in 2021, or I should say mid-year, you know, when you got the call up to the UFC on short notice, um, you know, that's something, you know, a lot of people were talking about at that time, you know, obviously Cody Stamen, a game opponent, a top 10 guy, you know, perennial top 10, top 15 guy. And then we get the call up for you to go compete against him. And then obviously, um, you know, the medical abnormalities and stuff like that. So kind of just going back to that, you know, traveling back to 2020, kind of run us through that, you know, situation, what happened, kind of, we got the call, you know, to go fight in the UFC and, you know, what happened from there on? Yeah, 2020 was a, definitely a crazy year. We've been spending the last maybe two weeks or a week, so it's perfect that we're talking about this now, uh, kind of reflecting on the year, you know, and something we've been talking about in the, in the group setting that is when we were at the gym with Coach Mark is just reflecting on what happened last year, two things you did well, one thing you would change, you know, stuff like that. So it gave me a lot of time to just sit down and reflect. And I was actually thinking about that last night before I was going to bed about how I was I was on the doorstep of the UFC. I was right there. I weighed in. I weighed in. And I looked that man right in his eyes and I was ready to fight him. You know what I mean? And what happened happened. It was out of my control. The craziest thing is at the end of the day, that, that day they made it sound like I was never going to fight again. You know what I mean? When they called me and they were like, your fight's off, they made it seem like like, it's not just that your fight's off, it's that your career's probably over, you know what I mean? If you if you don't go get retested, and if you don't pass a test, we can't let you be fighting in the cage with a... They they thought they said I had, like, a heart condition, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I had to come back to Chicago, I got retested, they made me run on a treadmill on an incline of, you know what I mean, 10, until my heart felt like it was going to pop out of my chest, and they would just test me with diff different wires and different tubes and stuff, and I came out clear, you know what I mean? So whatever the thing happened in the, in the Vegas test... To this day, I still want to be able to talk to that doctor. It's like, I didn't understand what happened. You know what I mean? But it's like, I, at the end of the day, just like my mother says to me too, is it, it's in God's will. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's who you're in. You just have to go with the flow and you can't hold on to too much. And, and she was right because the next day came and I woke up and it's like, all I could do was think about it. So I'm like, what am I going to do? Just think about it every day. So I'm like, what happened happened. That was yesterday. That was last week. That was last month. And time moved on. But I, I felt like, as soon as I, we came back out of that UFC fight and then they didn't give me the contract, they're like, listen, you got to, Sean Shelby was like, you got to get cleared. So I got cleared and then he hit me with the, we're going to get you a deal with LFA and you're going to fight for LFA and then come bring yourself back up. And that's when I took the fight against Justin and what happened happened. I felt like I was just under trained, under motivated, under, you know, I, just, I can make a million excuses about that, right? Anybody can, especially about a loss, just like you can make a million excuses about a win, you know? But it's like, uh, what happened happened and I knew I needed a change. As soon as I came back from that fight back to Chicago, I know I knew I'm like coronavirus or not. I need to figure out a, a different atmosphere, a different a training environment. And that's when I I knew I wanted to be with Factory X type of because during the pandemic, I was watching a lot of I'm sure like everybody else that's an MMA fan. I was watching a lot of the UFC and I saw Coach Mark uh, corner Pedro, Alex Hernandez, uh, Brandon Royval in Dubai when he was Royval was fighting. Oh, fight Island. Yeah, Fight Island. Pedro was fighting uh, Thomas Almeida. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And uh, just seeing his corner work and how quiet it was and how you could hear him so clear. And you know what I mean? He was calming the fighter down. He wasn't just about yelling instructions. So you can yell at instructions at a man all day. You know, at the end of the day, we're all human beings. Once 100%. our nervous system goes up, you're going to start getting tired. You know, we were talking about how you start doing jujitsu. If you in there, if you go in the jujitsu and you, you start stressing out about how you're about to go against a bigger dude and he might smash you and you might this, you're going to get, you're going to get gassed faster. But if you stay calm in the situation and just, work through the, the problem and try to problem solve one step at a time, you know, you're able to get through a situation a little bit easier and not get fatigued, you know? So I feel like that's one thing Mark has changed about my game since I've came here. He, he always tells me, if your nervous system gets too high, you're going to gas out. It doesn't matter how well conditioned you are. He goes, you have to keep yourself calm. You have to keep yourself low. You have to keep yourself in the moment. And you know what I mean? Take it one step at a time. Definitely. And I love that you mentioned that. And I love that you mentioned specifically, you know, going to LFA after the fact, you know, Sean Shelby saying, we're going to get you on these LFA fights. You fight here and build yourself back up slowly. Because in my opinion, I think you're one of the best guys on the regional scene right now, if not the best guy on the regional circuit right now, just, you know, right outside the UFC. And I think it's, you know, personally, um, I think just not even for you, but the UFC doctors have had some shit going on recently. I don't even know what's going on with like all the different fighters, you know, fights getting called up recently, like really weird circumstances, like, Matt Schnell versus Alex Perez. I don't know if you recall that fight. It kind of got scratched last yeah. minute. Some really weird weight cut stuff. It's just it's just really odd. And then uh, I think one of the best words to kind of describe this is perseverance. You know, persevering and despite losing that fight, making those adjustments and going out and then getting the win right after. You know, the results were there. And I truly believe that 
you know, looking at the gym and making those adjustments as a fan and as a fighter, kind of watching the film. It's like watching film in a sense, you know, you're watching the UFC, you're seeing the corner work that Mark Montoya is doing. You're like, I want to be trained under this guy. I want to be training under this guy with his guys and just being able to build myself up. So in that sense, it really truly is remarkable.